Lose yourself to shoes. Music, what's going on? Sal and I are back for a third round. Another Cosmo quiz, but this time it is what is your true age according to your social media habits. So, Sal, let's get into it. Question number one. What kind of phone do you have? Oh. A, the newest iPhone, of course. Mm. B, an Android that that nice man at the Verizon store helped me pick <laughs> out. C, whatever my work gave me. And D, my iPhone is way too old, but I'm saving up for a new one. Uh, I've never had an iPhone. I've always had Android phones. Okay. Uh, because the nice man at the AT&T store. <laughs> Almost Verizon. Yeah. Uh, back when I was going into college, uh, really sold me on the Samsung Galaxy no S seven that explodes. No, oh. that that would mean that I just went into college. <laughs> right now, I've got the I've got the newest Android phone, but that's not an option. I I'm gonna go with the newest, newest iPhone, iPhone. Of course, it's yeah, I'll call it an iPhone. I'm gonna go with my iPhone is way too old uh, because I have an iPhone six, which isn't that old, but it's the most accurate. Question number two: How often do you post on social media? Too many. Yeah, all right. Well, here we go. <laughs> I love commenting on Facebook! Exclamation point. I comment on Facebook all day. So that's the dad answer. That's a dad who doesn't have a job. <laughs> answer number two. <laughs> I'm on Twitter and Instagram way too much. Might be me. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like it. I post on Facebook, Pinterest, and Twitter a couple of times a day. Do not have Pinterest so clearly not me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm basically on Snapchat and Instagram all day. I'm also on Facebook and Twitter like all, all the time. So all of these answers are, are a lot. way too much. Everything is a lot. <laughs> I'm gonna go with Twitter and Instagram yeah. way too much because I don't Snapchat too much because it would murder my phone and right. use up all of my data. And I don't have a Pinterest and I don't do a dad Facebook. I actually don't comment on Facebook too much. Uh, I, so None all of these, these are a you. lot. Uh, I think a couple of times a day is the least, yeah, is the I, least one. That's what I think on, was supposed to be the normal one, but they threw Pinterest in there for yeah, some reason. Yeah, that's fine. Mm -hmm. I don't use it, but I can. I guess I use it now. Yeah. Okay, number three. What do you think of LinkedIn? Mm. A, LMAO, is that what old people use these days? <laughs> B, it helped my nephew get a job. Uh -huh. C, it's useful. And D, the emails are annoying, but it's a necessary evil. Uh, I'm going with that one. Yep. 100%. Yeah. My nephew's also... Five years old, so yeah. you have to be like, he would, if he, hey, maybe you got an acting gig. Yeah. It's not out of the question. Yeah. It could be in like a serial commercial. Yeah, the Captain Crunch is great. Cool. So <laughs> Anthony, if you want to uh, <laughs> make this answer to the Cosmic Quiz, we'll redo the video. Yeah, I uh, also when I went to open up my phone just now, my Gmail opened up, so mm, I'm really it's old. A sign. Question number four: What's your favorite social network? Ah. I think four. I look at the answers. Vine won't be on there. In the arms of <laughs> kill me. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Facebook. Snapchat, 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 Snapchat. All right. Instagram, period. Twitter, period. Hmm. I'm uh, going to go with Twitter, period. Mm -hmm. I think the jokes on that are funny. And uh, it's a good mix of f I follow funny people, I follow sports people, and I follow news people. Yeah. So I kind of get everything I need. Whereas Facebook, I get a lot of stuff I don't need. Yep. And then Snapchat's just... It's great, but I don't think I'm going to pick Snapchat four times in one sentence as yeah, the answer. That's a lot. I think I'm going to uh, I'm going to put Facebook cuz that's where most of my family is. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, none of them use Twitter. Yeah, uh, yeah. Um, also my Twitter game isn't as strong. Mm -hmm. So, play the sport you're good at. Kind sure. Of thing. Yeah. No, yeah, for sure. Facebook. Number five, have you ever gone a whole day without checking your social media? Oof, Somehow, this is not just a yes or no question. <laughs> what? <laughs> a, of course. B, as of late, no, but it's something I'm working towards. C, yes, but it's increasingly rare. And D, OMG, never, I would die. Okay, I don't like the... I don't like it's presented. No. Basically anything but the last one. Like you if you're saying as of late, no, but it's something I'm working towards, you could be like, I admit it's a habit. Yeah. For me it's just it depends. Like if I'm traveling, I don't check stuff. Really? Well it depends. Like if I'm I spend all no, my time in the airport. The, <laughs> oh, I mean no, I mean like traveling for fun. Like if I'm on like a trip like if I'm going to yeah. Europe for the weekend or something like that. I'm going to Europe for the weekend? No, but I'm Whoa. saying if that was, <laughs> if I was doing an exotic travel, I would purposely Put the phone away. Sure. So then, because of that, I'm going to go with the yes, but it's increasingly rare. Ah. Because it takes a certain circumstance for me to not do it. Right. Like, I would never, like, not check social media as, like, a look at me, I don't need to check it, because yeah. I have a lot of friends that I've met from YouTube and Vine and stuff that that's the only way I'm going to see them yeah. is if I check social media. So I'm going to go with yes, but it's rare. Uh, I'm going to go with the, I don't like the presentation of it. Ah. Your call. Yeah, I feel this pressured in this answering, but I'm going to say, okay, of course. Of course. <laughs> Question number six. What emoji best describes you? Is it 
information desk, which is a sassy hair flip. Sassy emoji. hair flip. Definitely. Oh, is that what it is? That's what it. it it's not, it actually is information desk, but yeah. it's always used as sassy hair flip. Like ah, eggplant is not an eggplant. Yeah. Peach is not a peach. Like. Uh, uh. Uh, answer number two. Tears of joy emoji, which is laughing, crying, crying. laughing, crying with like, giant tears. Mm. Thinking emoji, which is uh, this guy looks kind of angry. I think this one is like a pencil. Could like, be a little skeptic, like a. Mm. Could Maybe. be also used as like a. I think calling you out on your bullshit kind of emoji. Yeah, it's also the problem is that different platforms render them differently. Yes, they do look different all of them, but it still conveys the same. Yeah. But this one particularly is the iPhone one who looks particularly sassy because he has a little frown to him. Yeah. And to number four, thumbs up emoji. I think that's the one I use because I use Facebook use Messenger yeah. mm -hmm. and that's the, you just send those without having to do anything. Yeah. And that's a good confirmation that is what I wanted. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to go with tears of joy. I don't particularly enjoy the tears of joy emoji yeah. just because it's so often used with like people on Twitter sharing dumb memes. Like it'll be like, I'm crying, all caps, and then like 17 of those, and then it's like a not funny joke. Yep. Uh, so I'm, but if it was to describe me, it would be that over anything. Yeah. Because I feel like I'm generally a happy, laughy, silly person. The real answer for me would have been one eye open, one eye winking, tongue sticking out emoji. Like, ah, that would yeah. be more of me. Question number seven. How did you meet your significant other? Ooh. In college, through mutual friends, on Tinder, and I have six Snapchat boyfriends. Can we back up real fast? How does this question fit in with the other questions? It doesn't at all. Okay, just no, doesn't fit at all. We're not um, changing, taking a different quiz. Also, it is assuming you are in a relationship. Uh, I am in one, and I met her technically in college. I wouldn't say that's where we like connected, but that right. is the first time that we met. But we also did meet because of mutual friends. It wasn't at school, yeah. we were at a music festival and I was there with my friends and she was there with her friends and then mutual. Yes. So I feel like that is a more correct answer. Yeah. So I'm gonna say through mutual friends. Uh, well, so two of these answers are on Tinder and I have six <laughs> Snapchat, Snapchat boyfriends, boyfriends, which are both, uh, Mm, incorrect. Mm -hmm. um, I think the, so yeah, the last girl I dated, I met through mutual friends. Okay. So I'm going to go with that. Mutual one. friends. Question number eight. What do you typically Instagram? Oh. Mm, and if it's food, kill yourself. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> if but it's food, say, please stop. Yeah. <laughs> Unless no one cares. If you made the food, that's fine. Fine. I will say, if you did make the food, it should be something that's hard to make because I have some friends on Instagram that will like post them making like yogurt and granola stuff for breakfast. Yeah. And if you did that, unless you made the yogurt or granola yourself, right. you probably poured granola into a cereal bowl and then poured yogurt on top of it and then sliced a banana and put it on top. Like, yeah. that's not cooking. If you made like a duck flambe with plantain chips, like, yo, post 300 yes, pictures of that. that is fair. I'll say you can post food that someone else made uh -huh. if it's cartoonish. Sure. If it's a cheeseburger that is 10 pounds. If it's a pancake made into a particular shape. Yeah, if it's a margarita that you are sitting in. If it's bacon that spells a word. Then go ahead. Yeah. That's more of a comedic, but. If you go to Chipotle and you take a picture of your burrito, yeah. stop. If you go to TGI Fridays, if you go to Outback and you get a Bloomin' Onion, yeah. stop. Don't do but it. But also, give me some of your Bloomin' Onion. Yeah. <laughs> Answer number one, what do you typically Instagram? <laughs> Selfies with my friends. Selfies by myself. Fine. Selfies. That's fine. Selfies some people fine. are about it. Two, pictures of me and my kids. Oh. Well, but that's the mom answer they're going for. I also like that the previous one was, how do you meet your current boy if you know there. Know there on Tinder and I have five Snapchat boyfriends. Boy, six so Snapchat boyfriends. Six, oh, six Snapchat boyfriends. <laughs> so they're clearly looking for people that like the Venn diagram of people who can actually answer all of these questions is a very tiny, tiny overlap. Tiny, very tiny, tiny overlap. Sliver. <laughs> answer number three, the sunset and brunch. <sighs> Get out of here. The sunset, yes. Brunch, no. If you're, you should not be, the brunch part kills it. Unless you're making brunch every week. Right, if you're making brunch. <laughs> or you have comedic brunch every yeah. week. <laughs> what silly pancakes. <laughs> What's that, another eight pound pancake? Oh my goodness. We have a problem. <laughs> Answer number four. Old school memes oh. and pictures with my friends. Dang it. There's a lot of these where it's like, I would do part of it. Yep. Because I would do selfies with my friends, right. but not by myself. Yep. I would do the sunset, but not brunch. Right. I would do pictures with my friends, but I wouldn't do memes. And what is an old school old meme? Old school meme? Like, I don't think memes are old enough where old school is cool with a meme. Like, an only old school meme would it be if you did, like, Psychology Raptor or, like, 
the uh, why you know, you know, like the memes that yeah, yeah. it's not that old school memes are like, oh, so vintage. It would just be like, oh, that's that thing that's not funny anymore. <laughs> so I'm saying I'm bad at posting memes. But then it's pictures with, yeah, I'm bad at memes, but I also post pictures with my friends. Uh, uh, that's I think hard. The closest one to what I would do would be selfies with my friends, selfies with myself. Yes. I'm going to pick the Sunset and Brunch just because yep. most of my pictures are more scenic than anything. I usually post pictures from my travels, but never food. But I don't know. Yep. I don't do memes. I don't do selfies that much. So I'm going to go with sun Sunsets and Brunch, I yep. guess. Yeah, I look back through it. I've just got, I've got more selfies mm. than I thought. All right. Question number nine. What app could you not live without? Ooh. This is hard. So A is Google Maps. Ooh. B is theoretically I could live without all of my apps. So boring. Okay. C is email. And D is Instagram. <sighs> I feel like for me, it's Google Maps. Because I could, I could. You're gonna be so old when you answer that. I drive a lot, and I just moved to Seattle. Yeah. So I don't know where everything is. So right. if I didn't have Google Maps, I would struggle. If I didn't have Instagram, it wouldn't be the end of the world. Uh -huh. If I didn't have email, I could just use email on my computer. This is saying what app. So if I didn't have the email app, yeah. it wouldn't be the worst thing. Yeah. Because most emails I use on the computer, yeah. not my phone. So I'm gonna go with Google Maps because that would actually make my life horrible. Yeah. I, I theoretically without all. All my apps. <laughs> that's, oh. Like your phone is useless. Yeah, because there's every no is technically an application. <laughs> so that's an awful answer. I think they mean to say everything that's pre-downloaded. Like but that's email is a choice. Email's built into everything. Yeah, so this is a garbage answer. I can theoretically live without <laughs> all my apps. I mean, theoretically, I guess they're just saying like, do you, you need not a phone? phone? Yeah. That who answers that? An who old person that? or an infant or an Amish? Yeah, an Amish person. Yeah, their phones are not very good. <laughs> I could get by without Google Maps because mm -hmm. I can look up stuff ahead of time True. and uh, figure out there. And you don't have a car, so Ooh, so we put email. So we'd be a really old person. All right, email. I think the answer is email. I, Instagram. Yeah, it's fine. Mm -hmm. I can drop that. Question number ten, the final one. What's the most embarrassing thing you could post on social media? One of my nudes. Well, that wouldn't be embarrassing because I look. Great. <laughs> but also, like, <laughs> one of my new one of. I just have, like, a collection. A collection. Here's yeah. one of them. Ooh, this one, i got to put a sapia tone on it. Uh, an ugly selfie. Okay. Pretty embarrassing. If that. So that's another one. Like, that could exist. The first two just don't exist. Sure. Uh, number three, a screenshot of my bank account. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> it would be bad in the sense that it's, like, that would be an Why embarrassing thing that? to do because you would never do it. Yeah. Not necessarily how much money is in there. There's Why? no need to ever do that. Ever. Yeah. Would, so how could you accidentally post it? Yeah. Why would you ever screenshot? I don't think I'd ever screenshot a bank. Anyway. No, you shouldn't. That's a bad thing to do. Don't Number do four, it. I'm not easily embarrassed. I'm going to go with I'm not easily embarrassed. Yeah, but this, these are all... Like, if I accidentally posted a screenshot of my bank account... That would be painfully embarrassing. That would be incredibly embarrassing. I think the question is more of what would... If you posted one of these things accidentally... Because these are all... It's got to be accidental. Because it's not... I think the real answer for me, the most embarrassing thing would be like, if I put a lot of work into something and then posted it and then it got no likes. Yeah. That would be the real embarrassing thing. Yeah. Or if I like thought I had this awesome picture and I was like, look, I did this and then like nobody liked it. Then, <laughs> or if I was like, this joke is hilarious and then nobody liked it. That would be Oof. the true most embarrassing thing. But Oof. in terms of like, if any of these got accidents. I think the closest to that is an ugly selfie. Yeah. Because a selfie is like, you're trying to put effort into But I just like don't thing. take that many. The most embarrassing thing I could post, I could, like I would never post yeah, it. I never would never post a screenshot account. bank account. So I think an ugly selfie, ugly selfie yeah. is, and then later I realized that, oh yeah, oh I had something in my teeth or yeah. something. That would be great, yeah. if, you're like, if you're getting a picture with like Steph Curry and you just have like spinach. spinach. <laughs> oh no. Also, when did what the Warriors start serving spinach at <laughs> the, the uh, basketball games? Oh, yes, can I have the nachos, but instead of the nacho cheese, can I, I have the spinach, spinach dip? <laughs> yeah. I got 25. Whoa! Which is at the time of recording this, only one year off. Oh. But by the time I post this, I might be 25 because my birthday's soon approaching. Uh, so yeah, I'm 24. Uh, you didn't spend your childhood glued to an iPhone screen. True, I didn't get a smartphone until my junior year of college. That was I had a flip phone for a long time, that was and I didn't annoying. get a phone at all until like eighth grade. Yeah. It was like super limited. Literally, could only call people. Right. And I, my mom only got it because I was on the basketball team, and I had to coordinate rides home. Couldn't do anything fun with it. You didn't spend your childhood glued to an iPhone screen, but you're still pretty much a pro. Yeah, you just joined Snapchat, but you've never been an early adopter anyway. That part, not true. And I don't understand why that has to go along with being 25. Yeah. Because how I, I'm still a quick learner with yeah. it. Yeah, how old do they think Snapchat is? I don't know. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Anyway, I got 25. What did you get? All right. Tell me you got old person. Uh, I got the opposite. 
You are dot 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 fourteen. Wait, that is. I was expecting the oh, exact opposite for us. Yeah, it's social media years. You're total teeny bopper. <laughs> Own it. You're our little literal future. Wow. That's right. This is the farthest thing from that the truth is ever. Not correct. I think it's just because so many of these questions like implied that you had to use social media a lot yeah. already, yeah. and you are more in the like I don't use it that much boat yeah but the things that you do use it for if you did it in mass yeah would be young because you said like facebook you said selfies you said the worst thing would be a selfie etc right. but it's not like you don't post a lot you maybe post like one selfie every week to two weeks yeah so I feel like yeah. maybe in a in like a condensed sense you would be 14 yeah but the fact that you space it out i think makes that answer incorrect i think i'm a well-behaved 14 year old <laughs> yeah you could it doesn't mean you're an immature yeah, 14 year old i can be a very mature 14 year old <laughs> you're just a, a chill eighth grader yeah oh man well Cosmo, thank you for this. Thank Everyone, you. thank you for watching. If you want to take this quiz and tell us what you get, feel free to leave it in the comments. If you like the video, click like. If you post any favorites, click favorite. Those are the buttons are there for. And we'll see you guys sometime in the very near future. <laughs> Lose yourself to shoe.